What's going on YouTube? Gsnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.7.1 and iOS 14.7 with the check rain jailbreak. Of course I'm making this video for those of you who are new to the channel or who are coming from search. So as you're probably aware iOS 14.7.1 was released a couple of days ago by Apple and it does patch only one single vulnerability. However for the check rain jailbreak that doesn't really matter because check rain is not dependent on any kernel vulnerability at least not those that get patched by Apple. So if you're new to the channel, the check rain jailbreak is a jailbreak that cannot really be patched. It does get broken from time to time and the team has to update it once every few versions, but they do get it back to work and Apple cannot really patch it because this one works with a bootroom exploit, which Apple cannot do much about. But of course this means that the jailbreak only works with the iPhone 10 and lower because on the newer devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, the iPhone SE 2020, those have the bug patched on their CPUs. But if you have an iPhone 10 or lower, like an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6, 10, 8, 8 Plus and so on, you will be able to jailbreak with this. So yes, even though there hasn't been a release for 14.7.1 from CheckRain, it still says in here that it supports 14.5, officially you can jailbreak with it, and you can jailbreak 14.7.1, 14. 14.7 here, 14.6, 14.5.1 and so on, all the way down to iOS 12. If you're not sure if there is a jailbreak for your device, just go ahead and here on iDeviceCentral.com, press can I jailbreak and you will be redirected to this page here where you can see if there's a jailbreak for the latest version on your device and of course whether your device is supported by CheckRain on the latest iOS version. But for those of you with A12, A13 and A14 devices, you will need to wait for Uncover or for Pawn My, which is currently in the works. So yeah, let's go ahead and jailbreak. So if you have a CheckRain compatible device, all you have to do is to go to CheckRain.in or if you go here to iDevice Central to the Can I Jailbreak or to Jailbreak Download, it will be available as well by pressing the link. And you're going to have to download the version for your computer. Now here on the All Download, you can find the Mac OS and the Linux version. Unfortunately, there is no Windows version for this. There are ways to get it to work on a Windows computer by dual booting Linux and so on, but not natively. I do have the Mac OS version because this one is a Mac and all you have to do after you get it is to open it. Now as you can see I have my iPad mini 4 connected which runs 14.7.1 and it says in here sorry iPad mini 4 Wi-Fi is supported but iPad OS 14.7.1 is not. Supported versions are 12.0 to 14.5.1. Well it does support it. I talked about it in my other videos, but as I said, there are many people coming from search who don't know my other videos, so I'm going to repeat it here. You have to go to options, you have to enable untested iOS, and you can of course enable verbose boot as well. But if you have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus or 10, make sure that you check this one in here with skip A11 BPR check. That one allows your device to be jailbroken and also you will need to disable the passcode or the face ID or touch ID on that device because otherwise you wouldn't be able to jailbreak. That's only on the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10. For the rest of the devices you don't need to do that. Just make sure you have untested iOS selected here. So I'm gonna press start and now we have to press OK here. It tells us that the device runs an untested iOS. It's OK. And the device will enter in recovery mode, which is the mode with the laptop icon and the power cable. From here we need to put it in DFU mode by following the instructions on the screen. And that's the entire procedure, but do follow the one here on the screen for your device. So as you can see now I am in DFU mode. It's going to boot, it shows the Apple logo and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna be right back once it booted. All right, so after you install it and it boots, it says check rain in here. So if you're new to the channel, all you have to do now is to install Cydia. You open the check rain application, make sure you have an internet connection, you press Cydia here, and of course you press install Cydia. And right now I am on iPad, but it would be the same on any iPhone compatible with CheckRain. So it says installing Cydia, this will close automatically once it finishes. You only have to do this once. After that, every time you read jailbreak, you will have Cydia already installed with all your tweaks. So now we can open this in here. It says loading and there you go. Cydia is now available and you are now jailbroken. It's as easy as that. And you can check down below in here that I do have 14.7.1 do have some upgrades I'm gonna do them I'm gonna press confirm here and with this you can see that it works fine so yes we are now jailbroken let me install something real quick new term 2 so new term 2 in here 
and modify install and that's it you can see it installs fine so everything seems to be working fine on 14.7.1 even though this is basically a new iOS version I'm gonna respring and be right back all right so after a respring we do have the new term 2 in here and it does load so yeah that's basically it that's how you jailbreak 14.7.1 I know many of you know about it I know many of you know the procedure it hasn't changed but for those of you who are new and for those of you who are coming from search this is the full tutorial thank you for watching I'm Geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out